In this video, I just want to provide you with a few examples of different tread sizes and riser sizes and how they affect the structural strength of the stringer. That would be this number here. And as you can see here, we have a 10 inch tread, seven inch riser with a five and three quarter inch measurement from here to here out of a piece of two by 12 lumber. Now, if I make these steps longer, you can see where this measurement here is going to get shorter. So keep in mind, I haven't changed the riser just the length of the tread. And if I change the riser height to seven and a half inches, you can see here where this is gonna be five and a half, this is gonna be five and an eighth. And of course that number will gradually get smaller as we work our way down using longer steps. Next up, let's use an eight inch riser. Again, you can check out the measurements here see what they would be. And don't forget, you can always use a 2x14 or a 2x16 if you're worried about this measurement. For example, here we almost have a 2x6. And if I wanted to increase it to 7 and a quarter inches, I just got to go to a 2x14. And even though I cannot provide you with the minimum measurements because I don't know what type of stairway you're going to be building or whether or not the stair stringers are going to be supported, what kind of treads and risers you're going to use, and what the on-center spacing would be, for those stringers, but I can provide you with these measurements here in this video. Next up, let's go to a six and a half inch riser. Here we're going to have a little larger number, and of course that would make sense. Work our way down to where we have a five and a half inch number here for a six and a half inch riser with a 16 inch long step. And next up, let's go ahead and change up some of this stuff. Let's make the step a little longer. You can see here where we're not that far off. And if I go to a five and a half inch riser with a two foot long step, I'm going to have six and an eighth inches here. And that would probably work on a span of up to seven feet, I'm guessing. And here we have a six inch riser with a three foot long step. And we still end up with just a little bit over five and a half inches. And the problem you're going to run into if you do need to use measurements like these is that you're not going to be able to run the stringer longer than maybe three steps without providing some type of structural support. And keep in mind that the reason for making this video wasn't to provide you with structural information. I wanted to make you aware of how this number changes with different riser heights and tread depths along with the material used. Going to use a 2x10 or a 2x14. If this was going to be a 2x10, this number right here would be 3 and 9 sixteenths. And I'm guessing you couldn't span that more than two steps, but that probably wouldn't be correct either. And thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out some of our other videos on YouTube. And if you can't find the videos on YouTube, make sure that you visit our website to find a complete organized list of all of the videos we've made so far.